My research focuses on marine mammal communication. I'm interested in the interface between um, behavioral biology on the one hand, or what's called comparative psychology, and marine biology on the other. The school has a large sea mammal research unit, which I'm part of. And as part of this unit, I'm also a member of the Center for Social Learning and Cognitive Evolution, which combines people interested in animal behavior in the psychology and in the biology department. My main focus is on the bottlenose dolphin, a species commonly found in the seas around St. Andrews. A lot of people are very convinced of the intelligence and cognitive abilities of dolphins. In my research, I'm interested in how they use their acoustic repertoire, the range of sounds they're making, and how complex this communication really is. Most studies on dolphins have been done with captive animals, but I'm interested in, the, in what actually happens in the wild. How do they use these abilities? Why do these animals have cognitive abilities that rival those of the great apes and sometimes even exceed them? That is one of the questions that we're interested in. We are studying bottlenose dolphins in a variety of field sites worldwide, but one of our main sites is just here off the beach of St. Andrews in St. Andrews Bay. Individual dolphins can be recognized by marks on their fins, and that way we can actually study the same animals over long periods of time. What we do is that we take photographs every time in the, in the boat, and then uh, we try to look for certain features, fin shape and, uh, and scratches in the animals. So we find particular features of particular individuals, and that way we are able to identify them in, in other shots. They have nicks and also they have different coloration, and, uh, and then this makes it very easy to identify them in, in, other, in other encounters. To answer questions about communication, we need to know who makes a sound and who responds to it. And we're doing this by using an array of hydrophones that allows us to triangulate where a sound came from and then connect that with behavioral observations. Bottlenose dolphins have individually distinctive signature whistles. They acquire these through vocal learning, an ability to imitate and copy sounds of other animals. One thing we could find here is that animals in the wild tend to copy each other's signature whistle and then effectively address each other and try to find specific members of the group. So this is a good section here because it has um, a really long, it starts with this really long um, echolocation sequence. And then you have clicks on top of the whistles because the animals can produce both at the same time. So this is still echolocation. But here's the um, whistles coming in. Mm. And this is different from these. And so this would be a signature of one animal. And this is the same animal repeating this a few times. One of my students was able to record how dolphins use these signature whistles in the wild. What she found is that when groups meet, and if two different groups of dolphins come together, there are long exchanges of signature whistles before they join each other. While if dolphins just pass each other in the wild, they don't use these. So when they join up, it seems they're exchanging information about who's in the group and then decide to join. We hope that as we continue to study dolphins, we will be able to work out why they have evolved such a complex communication system while other species have not. That's her. Yeah.